here to hello guys I uh, don't really have much going on at the moment uh, you know, middle winter but I thought I'd show you my sensitive plants that I've been growing um, the most are pudica I've got 10 of them at the moment um, I'll just switch both lights on I've got 10 to germinate and that was out of about 30 seeds so I didn't do too too well but I didn't do too badly either so I originally started them in just the basic red solo cups and had them on one of these homebrew heater pads which is still on them giving them a bit of heat because it's just too cold at the moment and um, yeah, they're quite cool. I will get my marshmallow roaster and I'll give them a touch and see if they move. Watch, watch this. Will they move or not? See how the leaves are sort of shutting up? Try this bat one at the back. Get that one to move. So they sort of they move in two stages. Um, first, the little leaves sort of snap shut together, and then the leaf itself actually sort of folds down. You know, you can see them on. I've seen old David Attenborough talk about them and. It's sort of a, uh, a defense against sort of chewing insects and that sort of thing. But anyway, yeah, these are my sensitive plants. So oh, this one's a bit better. You can see it under some proper proper light. We'll give them a give them a feel. See how sensitive it is. Move, move, plant, move. Get you too. Get you, get you, get you. Yeah, anyway, just thought I'd show you my sensitive plants, and oh, they're grown under a New Zealand made LED grow light. This was quite expensive, this is over um, 100 bucks second hand, um, but it's a really good quality one. Anywho, that's my um, sensitive plants, Mimosa pudica. See us.